Hey everyone, today we are doing another DIY video. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, I don't really know where we're going with this video, but Christmas is coming. I felt like I was so behind on decorating and it wasn't even December yet. I don't know what the internet did to me this year. Did that happen to you? Cause it happened to me and I felt crazy. I just decorated a lot of my house. We're not done yet, but I'm in the mood to do another DIY. I did a DIY video. I think it was like one of my very first ones. It wasn't the first one, but it was the first one of this kind. It seemed like you guys liked it and I had a lot of fun doing it so if you like DIY videos if you're enjoying this video I mean you don't have to decide right now let me know at the end thumbs up thumbs down leave me comments all of that don't forget to subscribe but like I said I don't know what this video is gonna be but I think it's gonna be fun I found a lot of different inspiration photos and projects and I'm gonna try to like mix and match them put my own spin on it and I'm gonna make like a Christmas winter wonderland window display. I don't know what to call it, but I'm talking about this little window over here. It's basically just a cutout in a wall. This is the dining room in here. I'm sitting at our new dining room table. I feel like a real family now that we have a dining room table, like an actual one. So exciting being a family. And on the other side of that cutout are the stairs coming from the front door and the first floor. So this is a place I could decorate that you could see from multiple places in the house. And I don't know, I just felt like it was the perfect little frame to do something small, but it would really make an impact. And you're not just like decorating a little bit here, a little bit there, mm, 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 mm. and it becomes like a huge box of stuff. I already have that box of stuff, so I don't know, whatever. So like I was saying, winter wonderland, in the drive-through window. It's a drive-through window, okay? That's what it is. So we're gonna be adding snow, we're gonna be adding a tree, we're gonna be adding lights and other stuff. I haven't decided on yet, but let's do the stuff I have decided on. This is number one. Number one is like a little three foot tall baby tree that we got from Lowe's. It came with a stand. It is very wonky. We bought it at night. I thought it was perfect at the time. We got it home. Grant helped me put lights on it last night and I discovered how truly flawed and very unique it really is. It is so imbalanced. I don't know what this tree went through, but now it has a home with me and I'm gonna love it until it dies. Oh yeah, I need to turn on the lights. Yeah! Kind of still looks like a shrub though. Makes me happy even if it is a little shrub. I'm gonna dress it up, it's gonna be okay. Let's get Christmassy. All right, so the first thing I have to start this winter wonderland transformation is some table drape snow. And this has little silver stars in it, but luckily I love stars and I'm incorporating stars into the entire thing because I kind of had to. Oh, it looks like the stars are only on one side. So you could really go without the stars if you wanted to. There also is like a leaf in here. What? This is definitely way more material than I need. So I need to measure the area and I'm just gonna lay this down like a fluffy blanket of snow to cover the little window ledge. Oh no, it's falling apart. Oh, okay, it really is falling apart. Oh, I thought I was joking. <laughs> Let's measure. Not quite long enough, I'll make it work. We picked the wrong dining room table because I need more room for crafting. I wish the stars are already everywhere. Am I allowed to use a pencil for this? I don't know if this is gonna work. So it's just gonna look like a little dirty spot in the snow. That's no big deal. Normal. But to be honest, I know nothing about snow. I'm from Texas. I've always pretty much been in Texas. The stars are just all falling off. What is this? I got scammed, y'all. Oh, so many stars just fell off. Wow. Wow. We're over here at the ledge. I'm just gonna like bunch up and do half and half with way too much material. That is not what I was going for. Why did I even think this was going to look good? I'm really trying to work with this stuff and it is not having it. I'm just like tearing it to shreds. Actually, this is working. All right, not gonna lie, this video was almost canceled because that table snow looked so bad. It looked so stiff and bulky and wrong. And then I realized the trick is just start tearing it up. So if you just start pulling it apart on the sides, on the top, just everywhere, it stops looking like horrible, disgusting, like holiday ruiner. And it starts looking like, oh, it's like fluffy, fun, nice, you know, not horrible. So lucky for you, lucky for Christmas, we're back on, we're going on to step three or four. 
Okay, now I am grabbing a little box of fairy lights that I got and I'm going to attempt, I'm saying attempt because I don't know if this is gonna work, to put them underneath the blanket of snow and hopefully they shine through. Is this a fire hazard? Am I gonna set my house on fire? We'll just have to see. I probably should have put these down before I arranged the snow. All right, I have to say that was a success. It looks a lot better than I thought it would. I like how it's like glowing from within. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I just think it looks wonderful and wintry. Okay, for the next step, step whatever, I have no idea what number we're on. We're gonna be adding a little falling snow. It's gonna be extremely realistic. You're not gonna even know that you're not looking at like fresh, fluffy, glorious, authentic snow falling in my house. I saw a picture on Pinterest and they were using cotton balls. I don't have cotton balls, but since I was at the craft store, I saw this snow fluff and I thought, why not? Let's make this work. So I'm gonna be using this and some fishing line. I'm just gonna estimate my length, cut a length, and then I'm going to just grab out a little wad of it. And actually, I think this probably would turn out better than using cotton balls, but obviously if you have cotton balls, that's the most convenient thing to use. And if you're using cotton balls, you could sew them through the middle. I thought that's what I was gonna do. <laughs> that doesn't work. So I am just tying it in the center. And strangely, that looks perfectly fine. Obviously, you can grab more or less snow and get bigger wads of snow, balls of snow, because snow falls in giant balls, doesn't it? I'm an expert. See, there you have it. Two lovely, fluffy clouds of snow falling gracefully to the earth. This is what it's supposed to look like. Yes, I did this on purpose. I'm actually gonna add another one. I'm gonna do a little baby on the ends. So I'm gonna trim this one at the bottom. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, now I have to connect them up at the top of the window and I'm gonna let them cascade gracefully down. I made five of them. I hope that's gonna be enough. They're getting tangled up, so I probably should just get going. Remember when like tensil extensions were a thing? What if it was like cloud extensions? <laughs> Don't talk to me. That was me being a cloud extension snob. So my professional DIY brain says, just use a little bit of tape. I don't think it will show. Hopefully it doesn't. Okay, obviously I need more. This is not enough. I mean, it looks crazy, but I'm committed and I'm just gonna add more. Okay, does that look okay? I don't know, I have one, two, three, four, five, ooh, eight strands of snowflakes, straight up snowballs, like snowballs are raining down, like whatever, this is my idea of a winter wonderland. It's gonna be painful and very cold. Moving right along, I got some really, really cute star micro lights. This is what they look like. Oh, can't see them very well, but they're stars, I love that. And before I started the video, I put up some teeny tiny command strips up at the top here. I have three. Too much hanging from the ceiling alert. Are you seeing this ridiculousness? Like, why did I think this was gonna work? I think I have to get it like pretty tight up here for it to look even halfway normal. This is not gonna look normal. Be stars, be stars. Shine bright, shine bright, be a star. The other day I saw that Life Size was on TV. I turned it on and Grant came over and he was like watching it with me and he was so confused. And he was like, you really want to watch this, don't you? And I was like, yes. Eve is great. You know what? This actually is coming together. Either that or I've just like accepted defeat. I got this tiny little tree topper. It's just white glitter. It's honestly nothing special, but I don't actually have room up here. I'd have to do a little editing. It's gonna like touch the ceiling here. Maybe I should just wrap the stars around this top branch. That's what I'm gonna do. That's cute, okay? I don't know why I have a defensive tone right now, but it is cute. I have just like every star culminated right here. I like it, okay? Okay, brace yourself because this step is extremely corny and I feel really corny doing it, but I think it will be cute at the end. 
let's hope so. So I got a couple of really small, plain gift boxes from the craft store and they're white already, but I felt like if I wrapped them in tissue paper, it would be really cute. And then I'm gonna make some kind of bow. And so I'm gonna do two of those. So it would be something by the tree. I also have another idea for something else I wanna put next to the tree, but like that's a whole other thing and I'm kind of intimidated. So let's do this. And while I do it, I'm gonna think about my future. The presents are wrapped. I thought about my future and like I said before, more is more just courses through my veins and I can't say no to myself. I just recently discovered these tiny little adorable Christmas glitter houses. I saw them on Instagram. I think they've been around forever. I don't actually know the history, unfortunately, but they are so cute and it totally goes with the whole vintage holiday decor theme, which I really really love and i love that i'm seeing more and more of that out in the stores these houses are so cute i don't know how i've never seen them before basically you make them out of cardstock or paper or this is a quest bar box that i just dumped all the quest bars out there are a ton of different tutorials online but i found them on instagram on think make share they had like a whole blog post about how to make them and they included two printable templates. So these are the foundation of building your house. Actually, I've seen them called putts houses. I feel like I should say that to be legit. I'm getting tired. <laughs> It's getting dark outside and you know what actually I was a little bit more on the fence about doing this because I knew that I did not have all the supplies number one I don't have glitter and I feel like glitter is the finishing touch to these houses It doesn't need it, but I want it today I am going to do as much as I can on my putt's house and I'm gonna run to the craft store get what I need and I'm gonna finish it up tomorrow morning I'm so excited. I'm doing this oh. So basically I just have to cut this out and then cut it out of this thicker material so it has some stand up power. I just need to make this clear. I know I am not using the right tool to cut this right now, but I don't have the right tool. So I'm just trying to make it work and it's not working. One piece cut out. I've got one piece cut out. Don't do this with a box cutter. Don't play games like me, but I'm gonna power through just because I'm very stubborn and I must do this. have all of my little putts house pieces cut out um, nearly killed me so now I grabbed a little bit of paint and I am going to paint my house It looks crazy. I really don't know how this happened, but it did. But look what I found. This is all I've ever wanted. Okay, I'm home from dinner, home from shopping. My house is dry and I'm adding the window treatment. I'm just using some press and seal wrap because then I won't have to use glue or anything. And it sticks pretty well. Aww, I've got windows. Why is this the cutest thing in the world to me? <laughs> I got my glitter. I got my trees. Oh my gosh, I am in love with these. They're bigger ones too. I will have to find somewhere else to use them or make more houses. I kind of already want to make more houses. Right now, it's time to get to gluing. Okay, finally, it's the moment I've 
been waiting for. It's time to have the glitter. I'm back. It's day two. I really, really, really did not want this to be a multi-day thing, but here we are. It's day two. The good news is we barely have anything else to do. I created my masterpiece last night. I am so excited about this thing. The only thing I want to do for the rest of my life, or at least for the next couple of hours, I want to make more of these houses so badly. I want to make my own templates. I want to get crazy. I want more house colors. I want to do more of these so, so bad. They are so cute to me. I want to make a village, but right now I just have one. I am so in love with this one. Obviously you can do whatever colors you want, use whatever color glitter. The options are limitless. I've been thinking about them for at least 24 hours straight. But since I just have one for now, and I really want to incorporate it in my little window display over here, I am going to put it inside this thing. I don't even know what to call it. I already had this. I've had this for a while. I can't remember where I got this. I feel like it was a gift, so I feel like a bad person. But I love it, and I'm using it, so that's good, right? I don't know if that redeems me, but my idea is to put it inside here. I don't know why Grant asked me. He's like, why are you gonna put it inside a thing? That's like, that's weird, right? And I don't know, it's something I've seen. It's something I accept. This is normal to me. It's not normal, but it's normal to me and we're doing it. So I'm gonna fill this with snow. I'm gonna use some fairy lights and I'm gonna add my little lonely house inside its personal little biodome of Christmas. Not like that, but you get it, right? <laughs> Okay, I think this is how I want it arranged. I popped another silver bottle brush tree in the back here. I got a whole multi-pack. I want to use all of them everywhere in my house. I love them so much. I think this is the best thing I've ever made in my life. Did you see the little chimney smoke? It's one of my favorite things. The one thing about this setup is it's gonna be really tricky to turn on and off. So I think I might just leave it on. I don't know, that's probably not a good idea. I'm gonna have to think about that one, but ultimately Ultimately, I really like how it turned out. I wanna make more already so bad. Is this not so cute? Are you in love with this? I'm in love with this. I had to put it on this little mat that I got from Michael's yesterday because for some reason the metal on the bottom was like leaving marks on the table and we've actually never eaten on this table yet. So I can't ruin it. I've already covered it in glitter. Here's a little close up of the house. Okay, I need to put it in place. I've made such a mess in this process, but I am so in love with this little house. You have no idea. For the millionth time, okay, you can see the microphone. I'm literally holding the microphone. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I've moved this camera around so much during this video. I'm just sick of it. And for the millionth time in this video, I thought I was done. I thought I was like, oh, little house, you look so cute. I love you. Welcome to my life. Welcome to my family. I want to have more of you. But no, it doesn't seem done, does it? So I have some little tiny ornaments I'm going to add to the tree and for real be done. Okay? This is not a drill. I'm about to be done. <laughs> what does this come to? I should just hold it like this. Reporting live from the decorated shrub here in my house. Okay, it is officially done. I have a decorated 
the shrub, and the entire window display, my drive-through window of my dreams is complete. Did it turn out as I envisioned it? No. But do my projects ever turn out exactly like I envisioned? No, literally never. Never not once in my life. So I'm used to it. I'm happy with it. I'm proud of it. Do you like it? I don't know if any of you guys will recreate this. Hopefully at least you try the tiny house. I absolutely recommend it. The falling snowballs, I don't know. You know, it's up to you. It's up to your taste. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, <laughs> I understand why. Either way, let me know in the comments, are you taking on any DIY situations this holiday season? I'd like to know how it's going. Despite all my struggles, I really do like to make things. I really do get a lot of enjoyment of like making little things quietly, listening to podcasts. I'm not that good at it, but I like it. I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you want to talk to me on social media, I love talking to you guys over there. It's Leanne Says Everywhere. Of course, subscribe to my channel. I also have a vlog channel. You can find me over there. It's Leanne Vlogs. And I think that's it. I hope you're having a wonderful day, a wonderful life, a wonderful Christmas. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. Starts a craft video, doesn't have scissors. <laughs> my tree is not a tree. Ba -ba. Does that even look better? Question mark? Duh. I probably need to clean it. I hate cleaning. Signing off.